Let's talk a little PGA. Brooks Kepka and Webb Simpson, along with a few other guys, but these are the uh, the two most high profile. Brooks Kepka is out of the Travelers this weekend. Now, for those of you that already had tickets on him getting ready to cash, because he plays well there, you understand how this goes. I, I'm a little surprised. He had one. He tested negative, and the other member of his team tested negative, and this guy had one negative and one positive test. So they they've all been tested two times. He had what? Well, so Michael said disappointed. Brooks is out. Came on late last week at Heritage. Yeah, he finished yeah. seventh last week. Yep, he was in a prime position to really make some noise this weekend. And he decided to do it on his own. He wasn't held out by the PGA, anything like that. He said, just to be careful for everybody else that's involved, I'm going to pull out so that nobody else gets sick with this virus. I think it's a good call on his part. And I think we're going to see it a lot more going forward. I think we're just going to have to get used to this. The The PGA commissioner came out and said, look, the virus is not going away. We're just going to have to learn how to, how to deal with it. But... Every sport's going to deal with this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Golf is is unique because it it's an individual sport, and so you take an individual player out of it. You know, baseball, hockey, basketball, football. We're we're going to deal with these things. I mean, this is a completely different subject, but Bruce Arians has talked about carrying a third quarterback on his roster and paying that person to live in a bubble. Yeah. To just literally exercise on his own. Watch game film, know and learn the offense, but you you don't you don't you don't go around your family, you don't leave the house, you are a monk, you are a hermit, and I'm gonna pay you handsomely to sit in this bubble in case of it's one of those break in case of emergency situations. Yes. Because yes. in the NFL, what do you what do you do if it's your quarterback? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it's going to be very, very interesting. Tyrone said, don't they stay more than six feet apart? Well, not all the time. I mean, obviously, you got to walk by the clubhouse. you got to walk. You're going to be around people at some point. There's travel. There's everything else that's involved. So, it's, who knows, right? It's probably better to stay safe. I think safe. it's okay to isolate yourself if you, if, if you or someone around you. At some point in time, I gotta fig- we got to figure out the trace thing. So, like... The LSU and the Clemson reports from last week of 30 kids and 22 kids were were grossly exaggerated. Only like six or seven of those kids actually tested positive. But the, the LSU the, one was was uh, only six or seven, six, whatever. Yeah. And, and the, and the Clemson all one was thirty of them were traced because all thirty of the guys were around the six guys, right. and so we're you isolate all of them at some point in time. For the good of the – now, this is all preseason, so it doesn't matter. Once these sports get going and golf is going, if you're negative just because you were around somebody who was positive, maybe be extra careful about being around other people, but still you can continue to play and work. You yes. can continue to compete. Michael said, uh, yeah, I doubt his caddy got it on the course. Yeah, doubtful. doubtful. Oh, 100%, 100%. I mean, we, we – I mean – I, I'm not a scientist. I read very little of this stuff, but what I've read is this thing is virtually impossible for it to spread um, outdoors in sunlight. UV UV light, really. I know that everybody hates the UV light thing because Trump said it, and if you're an anti-Trump guy, then everything he says is wrong. Well, a broken clock's right twice a day. He was given some good information. The science does say this thing just can't spread it outdoors. It's, it's, it's made for indoors or dark, and... And that's that's why I'm not. I just don't understand golf. I don't understand baseball. I don't understand these things. UV light has seemed to do a pretty damn good job of fighting this deal. Yes, it has. Jose jumps in on the chat. By the way, nice to see Jose in here today. Damien, of course, jumping in. I already talked about him. Damien said Corona is going to be the next HIV. I don't know about that. I don't think it's nearly that serious. And Michael said, "Yeah, I doubt his caddy got it on the course." He said, uh, "Look for Bryson to muscle his way around this weekend." He also said, good for him. I was going to say he can grab another caddy. Hell, I'd jump on the bag. Uh, there's a lot of people, I think, that would want to caddy for Brooks. Uh, I, yes, don't, sir. I, don't think yes, it's, I don't think it's the fact that his caddy is going to be out. I think it's the fact that 
he was around somebody that had I think it's it. It's a cautious thing. Yeah, it's cautious. And I, I don't know that I'm against the cautious thing. Here's the deal: it's it's golf, and these guys make a lot of money, and they know this this season is going to be kind of weird anyway. It, you're not throwing away a year of an NFL career that are only three and a half years old or long. Yeah. On average, you know, yeah. you're, you, you, you have a weird season where you're just going to miss a lot of tournaments because of weird things. I'm okay with them being extra precautious. I, I, I don't know that I think it's necessary, but I'm okay with it. Jose said Corona has been out. It was called the Spanish flu. It, it's very similar to that, or at least the, the things that happened back in 1918, right? That's, that's pretty much how that went down. Let's move on to the news of the weird 